Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create beautiful section transitions using Divi's new design features. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how. Okay, so um, if you'd like to follow along and achieve the same colors and the settings that we're going to do in this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to start off by creating a brand new page. So let's go to our dashboard and create a brand new page. So click on add new. So we're going to call this page new transitions. Click on use the Divi Builder and use visual builder so let's go to our section settings and add a padding so we're going to come to design click on spacing and we're going to add 300 pixels to the top and 300 to the bottom next let's add a text module so save click this plus button here to add our module in fact to add our rows so we need a single row for this and add a text module Let's go into the design, click on text, and here we need to make sure that our font is comforter, so it's right here, and our text font size, 50 pixels, and then text orientation needs to be set to center. Okay, let's click save. Now we need to add a second text, uh, text module, so I'm gonna click this uh, duplicate button, and I'm gonna go into the settings. This time, we're going to change the size from 50 to 16, like that. And then text orientation is fine when it's centered. Let's go ahead and save. Next, we're going to add a button module. So I'm going to select my button. Click on design, alignment. This needs to be centered. Let's add our text. So here, text color is dark that's fine we're going to go back to the content tab and add our button text so our button text is just going to say learn more and then for the link i'm just going to add a blank link and then come back here to design click on button and then for us to make our customizations we need to make sure that use custom styles for button is activated like that so next, we're going to add some color to the button. So this time, instead of adding just a normal uh, color, solid color, let's try and use something different. So let's click on this gradient icon here, click this plus button, and add our first gradient color. And as I mentioned before, if you'd like to follow along step by step and use th these colors that we are using here, you can find the exact settings on our post, which I'll link in the show notes below. Okay, let's add our second color. And then here for our gradient direction, we're going to set this to 162. Okay, so we can see here that our text is not um, easy to read. So we need to change that color to white. So let's come over here to text. And for text color, let's change that to light. And now we can see our text. Okay, great. So I'm going to save this. Next, let's add the text to the modules that we added earlier on. So, so I'm going to come over here, click my module settings. Okay, so this module will have our header. So I'm just gonna paste my text in here. But as we can see, that's a lot of text. So I am going to delete some of this and leave that as the main heading. Okay, I'm gonna save and then go into my next module. And then I'm gonna paste my text in here like that and save. Okay, so that's looking good so far. Now it's time to add our second section. So I'm gonna click this plus button here and click on regular and now I'm going to go into my section settings and add our padding so click this gear icon here click on design spacing and then padding top 300 and padding bottom 300 so for now I'm going to save and then next we're going to add and then next we're going to add our rows so I'm going to click this plus button here and click this three column row and in here we're going to add our blurbs so I'm gonna select it so give it a title in fact I'll paste my content first and then I'll just copy this and make this my title so I'm gonna paste my title in here let's add our icon so I'm gonna come here to image an icon click on use icon and the icon we, we're gonna use is the uh, the hamburger icon which is right here 
Excellent. Now we can go to the design and customize the color. So I'm going to click on image and icon, click this color tab, and I'm going to paste my color in here. Next, we can see this icon is a bit too big. So we need to adjust the size to about 55. Now let's adjust our header font. So I'm going to click here on the header text. We are going to align this to the center and we're going to change this font to comforter. Next, we're going to come over here to the body text and we are going to set the size to 14. That's fine. And we need to make it centered. Okay, so now that we're happy with all the settings we have in the first blurb, let's go ahead and save. And then we're going to duplicate these and add them to the two columns here. So I'm just going to copy and paste them. And then we're going to go here back to our first module, um, to our first section, click on this gear icon, and we're going to make some changes here too. So for us to achieve that diagonal line. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, add our gradient background. So I'm going to click on background, click on our gradient, click this plus button here, and let's add our first color. So I'm going to paste it in here. I want to add my second color. Again, I'm going to paste it here. Next, we're going to adjust our gradient direction to 83. And then our start position is going to be 85. And then our end position is going to be 70. So now you can see this diagonal line showing here in the background. So let's go ahead and save. And then we also need to change the background of the section here on the bottom. So let's come over here to our settings for the next section. Click the gear icon to access the settings. Click on background. And again, we're going to choose the second tab, which is our linear gradient. Click the plus button to add your first color. And in my case, I'm going to paste it in here. So now we can see that the color is now blending. Okay, now let's go to the second color. And we're going to add our color in here like that. And now it's time to adjust our gradient direction, start position and end position. So as before, we're going to set this to 183, 85 and 70. Let's go ahead and save. And now when we take a look at our page, we can see now that the, uh, the diagonal line has been added to our site. Now, when we take a look at this, we can see that we have a lot of padding here on the top up above uh, this row. So what we need to do is to remove that padding. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on design spacing, and we're just going to remove that 300 just to move all that content slightly, slightly up like that. So now that looks more natural. So that looks much better. Let's go ahead and save. So in the next examples, what I'll be doing is I'll be duplicating these sections and just adjusting all my designs. So let's go and duplicate this first one here and drag it to the bottom like that. And then we can duplicate this as well and drag it to the bottom. Now we can go in and do all our adjustments. So I'm going to start off by coming over here to my section settings, click on background. And this is the tab that I need, the linear gradient. So I'm going to click on my first color and my color is going to be transparent. So I'm going to paste my, my settings in here like that. Click on my next color. Again, this color is going to be an RGBA value. So I'm going to come in here and replace these settings with my color. Next, we're going to come over here to our gradient type. And this time we're going to choose radial. And we are going to select top left for our radial direction. Okay, so we can see here that uh, we have this shape showing now over here to the top right. Next, we're going to set our start position to 60 and our end position to 50 like that. So now we have this beautiful background that we've just created at by adding our color and also adjusting our radial and start and end positions. Okay, so I'm going to save. And then we're going to go to the next section, click on the settings icon, click on background. So I'm going to start by adding my first color. And again, this is going to be an RGBA value. So I'm going to select the contents inside the brackets and replace that with my color. Click on the second tab, add our second color, paste it in here, change our gradient type to radial. And for this one, our direction is bottom right. And then finally, this is going to be 58 and 50 for the end position. Okay, so now we can see that we've just created pretty much the opposite of what we have here on the top. So let's go ahead and save and we can just take a look at our design. 
Okay, let's move on to the next one. Again, we're going to duplicate these uh, sections. So I'm going to duplicate it here, drag it all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to do the same for this one. Okay, so the next example is going to be slightly different from the rest because we are going to need an extra section between both sections to achieve the result, the result that we need. Okay, so coming back over here, let's add one more section. So I'm going to click this plus button and add our regular section. For now, we're not going to add anything between it. We're just going to leave it as it is. So let's go into these sections and add our settings. So I'm going to click the settings icon. Click on background, add our first color, click on the second color, add our second color. Next, we're going to uh, select uh, bottom left for this. Here for the start and end position, it's going to be fine at 50, 50. Okay, so let's save this for now and let's move on to the next thing. So let's come over here to uh, this section, click on section settings, click on background, and we're going to add our first color. I'm going to paste the value in here, click on the second tab to add our second color. And then here for our start position, we're going to set this to 50. And for our radial direction, it's going to be top right. Now, for us to achieve this um, fusion, let's go ahead and add the settings of this section that we added between these two sections. So I'm going to save for now, come over here, click on the gear icon, click on background, and now it's time to add our colors. So I'm going to click this plus button here, click on my first color, and I'm going to add my RGBA value in the brackets, add my second color. Okay, so now we can see that this fusion is actually happening because we've added this gradient here. So all we have to do is to come over here to our gradient direction, set that to uh, 92, and then here we need to add 43 and 62. Okay, so now you can see this fusion happening between these two sections. So let's go ahead and save. Okay, so let's move on to our next example. Again, as before, we're going to duplicate uh, these sections and drag them into position so we can add all our settings. So I'm just going to drag this all the way to the bottom. Now this time we won't need this section right here in the middle, so we're just going to duplicate this one here on the bottom and drag it all the way to the bottom as we did before. So next, let's go into our section settings and add our settings. So I'm going to click here, click on background. I'm going to add my first color. My second color is an RGBA value. So I'm just going to come into the brackets here and replace what we have between them. Right, so for our radial direction here, we need to set it to bottom right. And our gradient type is fine, add radial. And then all we need to do is to change our start and end positions. So let's set this to 7 and our end position to 7. In fact, let's make it 8 and 8. Next, let's go to our second section. So I'm going to save this for now. Click my gear icon here to access my uh, settings, my section settings. Click on background and we're going to add our first color. And again, this is going to be an RGBA color. I'm going to paste it in here. Next, we're going to add our color in here. Okay, so uh, grad uh, gradient type is fine at radial, but this time we're going to leave it at top right. And then here we're just going to make this 8% and end position 8%. Okay, so we're going to save and do the next uh, example. Duplicate these sections, drag it all the way to the bottom, and do the same for the next section here. Okay, so as before, we're going to go into the section settings by clicking the gear icon, click on background, and we're going to add our first color. So I'm going to paste it in here, click our second color. So our second color here is going to be white. So for our gradient type, it's fine at radial, and our radial direction is going to be top. And we can see here that we've just added this design right here. And then finally, we're going to set our start and end position to 88 that. Okay, let's go ahead and save. And we're going to work on the second section. So we're going to again, we're going to click this settings icon, click on background, we're going to add our first color, click on the second color, we're going to paste our second color. So here our gradient type is fine at uh, radial, but this time this is going to be set to bottom. And our start and end position is going to be 88 for the start position. 
and 88 for the bottom position, the end position, like that. Click on save. Now it's time to move into our sixth and final example. So again, as before, we're gonna duplicate these sections. So I'm gonna click this duplicate button, drag this all the way to the bottom, and we're gonna do the same for this second section here. Drag it all the way to the bottom, like that. And then let's go into the settings and make our adjustments. So I'm gonna click this uh, button right here to, get, to access our settings, click on background, and I'm gonna add my first color. So I'm gonna click this palette here, add my RGBA value between the brackets, click my second color, and all we need to change here now after adding the colors is the start and end position. So this is going to be set to 53. In fact, this is 56. And our end position is going to be set to 43. Like that. Let's save. Let's go to our next section. Click the settings icon. Click on background. We're going to add our first color. Click on the second color. Paste our color in between the, black, the brackets. And then here for our radial direction, this needs to be set to top. And then here on the start position, let's set this to 56 and the end position to 40. So there we go. So uh, let's go ahead and save. And I'm going to save this page as well and exit the visual builder. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos similar to what you've seen today. If you have any questions, do leave your, comment, your questions in the comments box below and I will do my best to answer those questions. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.